Hey, I'm Natasha Wilson. If you're new to me, I'm a Pilates teacher and mobility coach and the creator of Hockey Performance and Recovery. Today I'm showing you four exercises to open up and lengthen your back with your foam roller. You can pick and choose which ones you like, you can do them all together, but whichever ones you do like, just make sure you do them consistently and that will help to continually open up your back. So remember the secret sauce is going to be in the details, but we'll talk about that as we go along. So let's grab your foam roller. Number one is your cat. So we're laying your foam roller down. It's going to be horizontal on your mat. We are going to start kneeling. So knees are about underneath hips. We've got the roller decently close in front of us. We're going to go kind of outsides of wrists on with our thumbs up. As you inhale, you're going to start to push the roller away until it kind of ends up underneath your wrist and you can stretch your tail back. You're going to let your chest fall through your arms as you continue to reach your arms forward and reach your tail back. Then as you exhale, you're going to curl your tail, scooping the core and think about bringing your hips forward. That's going to open up your back even more. And then we're going to go again. So you won't come as close to you as you did before. Inhaling to go out. So we're stretching the back both on the out and the in. So as you inhale, keep lengthening the spine out. As you exhale, curl the tail. Use your core to curl the hips in, bringing your hips forward and coming in. Relax the shoulders and then again, inhaling. Let's do three more. Really feel that length of the spine. So you're always having intention. Even when it looks like you've stopped moving, you've still got that little extra oomph both on the out and the in. So here we're still trying to think of bringing our hips forward, getting that continual stretch. And we're really trying to articulate the spine. That's where that real detail comes in. The more we can think of articulating or moving one piece of the spine at a time, the more of the back we can open up. Because remember the back, the whole body really is good at compensating. So some parts can be tighter than others and put more pressure on others. So we're really just trying to open everything up uniformly. And then once you're done, you can just bring your hips forward and roll up. Head can be the last thing to come up. So that's number one, cat. Number two, we're gonna go into a rotation. So T-spine rotation. We're gonna have it vertical beside us. If you're on the ground, most likely you are. It's just gonna be off your mat. We're gonna end up on all fours. And then we're gonna take, so the roller's on my right side right now. I'm taking my furthest hand, my left hand. It's going underneath my right elbow and my wrist is going on the roller with my palm up. So from here, really important that you think of rotating from the rib cage and not the shoulders. You're gonna inhale as you think of rotating from that mid spine. You can bend this right elbow as you need to, and then exhaling to come back. And then again, rotating. For this one, you can use either breath really. You can inhale as you rotate or exhale. As long as you keep breathing through and you think that you're not twisting from the shoulder, otherwise you're gonna feel pressure in your neck and the top of the shoulder. We really wanna think move from the mid spine like you're a pepper grinder. One more time. So really I'm not bending this elbow all that much. I don't want pressure going into my right shoulder. And then let's switch. So we're on all fours, the roller's on the other side. We take the furthest hand, go underneath the other arm with palm up, and then let's exhale. I'm gonna exhale this side. And then see which one makes more sense to you. As long as you're breathing, I'm a happy clam. Your body will be happy. And back. But right, we're not dropping the shoulder as you go because that's gonna drop you into the neck. We're really focusing on just moving through that rib cage. One more time, like you're a wet washcloth. And then back to center. So that was number two. Number three is what we call in Pilates swan. So we're gonna have this roller horizontally again. We are going to lay down on your stomachs. This one's a little tricky because we're um, fully lengthened out, which is a tricky place to be, right? Because we're a longer lever. So just make sure if we're doing this, you do not feel this in the low back. In fact, we are opening up the spine. We're definitely not smushing on that low back. Never should you smush the low back. Let that be a rule. <laughs> Arms are gonna go straight. We've got that roller in front of us. So the rollers underneath our wrists, our thumbs are up. Legs can be in line with your hips or 
closer together, whatever naturally feels better for that back, but then just softly point your toes away from you. Your forehead can start down, so if this position feels okay already for your low back and your shoulders, then you're, that's your permission to keep going. You're gonna inhale as you start to peel your eyes up, your nose, and as your spine starts to come up, you feel your shoulders draw in and you feel this roller start to come towards you. So it's this oppositional energy, and then you melt the spine down one piece at a time. And then again, so as you inhale, you start to lengthen up through the top of the head. You feel the shoulders draw down. And then once you're about here, once you're about to the chest, you'll feel how that core really has to engage to take you up. So you're actually coming up with strength and not cranking the back up like a lot of us do. And I can be totally guilty of that too. So feel that control, feel the shoulders draw down, keep reaching back through your toes. Think we're unwrinkling the back. And just go to where it feels right. So really, we're engaging that core. And we're opening up the chest. We're strengthening the back. Right? We need some opening and we need some lengthening. Good. One more time. This one is an inhale to come up because we want to grow long. Think like you're a spring. And then your exhale is going to control. Think the front of your spine coming down one piece at a time. This can be really good for your shoulders and your back. So from here, I like to press back to a child's pose after a big back bend. So hands can go under your shoulders. Knees can go wide. And you can stretch back. So just take a moment after that one. But that can be a lot. So if that one doesn't feel like it's your favorite, that's okay. But it's a really good way, if it feels good, to practice your spine extension and open your chest and strengthen that back. So let's roll up. So from here, our last one for today with the roller, we're gonna do another spine extension or back bend. The roller is going to be behind us. Knees bent, feet in front. I like knees bent for this. Okay, and then you're gonna go tips of shoulder blades onto that roller. Hands interlaced and place behind the head, the base of the head, like a little Easter basket, elbows just slightly lifted. So then from here, we're going to inhale. Think of almost using your hands. This is the extra detail to this one. Think tractioning, pulling the neck out slightly, and then slowly starting to arc around that roller. Don't go too far for the first one. And then exhale, use your hands to support your head, engaging your core, feeling your ribs slide down towards your hips, coming up. And then again, so this idea like you're pulling your neck long, you're not gonna be able to see anything, but it's just this energy. You'll feel like you get this little neck stretch and support, and then you can keep going back. And then exhale, support the head with the hands so you're not yanking from the neck and coming up. Let's do that two more times. And each time you go back, you might feel like you can go a little bit more, but you're not taking that pressure into your low back. We're lengthening out. Again, if you can just keep imagining your spine like a spring, it's hard to, like if you can imagine that way, it's not gonna look like much, but this idea that you're stretching out really softly, not so much that you're pushing to the low back, but you're lengthening out. And then notice that you probably get further each time coming all the way back up. Good. And then while we're here, this is your little bonus. You could always go hands across your chest, lift your hips up, just give yourself just a little roll out there if that felt okay. Remember, we're not going over those bottom ribs. This is our floating ribs, we're not doing that. We're just kind of running over the top half of the back and then lowering the hips down. You can use your core, bring your arms up, engage and roll up to seated. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, did, <laughs> be sure to like, share and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.